Hey guys and welcome back to another type sort video. So last video I made a Shikai tier list. Well not the last video but um last tier list I did was a Shikai one and I did miss out uh, I think like two uh Shikai's. It was an editing mistake, but in this video I'm gonna basically cover literally every Bankai in the tier list. So let me know your thoughts if you guys agree with this, you know, maybe disagree. Also if you haven't already liked and sub, we're nearly at 1800 subs. And join the Discord server, which is in my profile on YouTube. And yeah, I'll just get into it. So first up, we got Berserk. So I'm ranking this at like A, because first off, the rework is really solid. I don't know about you guys, but it's made it way better because every move has hyper armor. And one of the moves, one of the old moves is basically a passive now. So honestly, in terms of Bankai as well, all of the moves cripple your opponent. If that's not OP, then I don't know what it is, and it's got a lot of combo potential, so this is definitely an A for me. Next, we got Confusion. So, don't hate me for this, but the only reason I'm not putting this at A tier is because, although the Bankai is definitely good, don't get me wrong, the thing is, if you're not good with it, it does require skill. So if you're not good with it, it's not going to be good. That's just plain and simple. It has no passives, there's nothing that special about it, but it is solid, so I'd have to put it at a like high B tier. Next, we have Creation. Creation isn't necessarily bad, but it's not like crazy OP. Like the Shikai, you know, is decent. But on Bankai form, I have to say Creation does like jump to a whole nother tier due to the moves literally changing into way better moves. So honestly, Creation does also take skill, but the Bankai just makes it so much better. I'll have to rank it somewhere at B. Next up, we do have the Lightning uh, Bankai. I'm going to talk about the Shikai really quick since I did it in the old video, but it is definitely A tier. All the moves are good. The good gap closes, really fast moves, and they have good stun. Amazing moves in general, really. It is really worth getting the Bankai for it. And in terms of Bankai, the M1s do proc Lightning, which is sick. And the moves are pretty spammable, the TNG. Very solid um, Bankai. Next up, we have the Ink Bankai. Ink is honestly one of the most solid um, Shikan Bankai there is in Type Soul. Um, hella good. It's kind of balanced, kind of not. I mean, it's not too brain dead and it is pretty fun to use. The Domain makes you lose um, reality on your moves. And the Ant move does make you do less damage or whatnot. It is just hella good. And definitely S2. Next up, we have the Flower Bankai. Flower Bankai is honestly so good. Uh, it has a domain that you can't escape off and that prox blades and your m1s do change and have like a higher range and overall if you know how to combo if you know what you're doing flower bankai is a solid s next up we got the ice bankai ice bankai is definitely one of the most op as well it's an s tier and your stuns basically are longer on bankai your team move can boss raid so much people at once and auto grip and it does proc ice at people just which does damage obviously and stuns them at like every 20 seconds and the g move is also a pretty good dash you know does good damage definitely a solid s as well next up we have the blood bankai so i have to say honestly blood is a bit of a complicated one it is a legendary but unfortunately if you don't know how to use blood it is not as good as you may think so if you if for example i do agree the g move is hella good but the t move is heavily dependent on whether you know how to land the long ranged m1s or not if you don't, you will be losing so much health, but if you do, it will be ideal for you to boss raid with. But again, just like the Shikai, I have to put it at lower than people would want it, at like A-ish, because it does require some skill. Next up, we got the Judgment Bankai. So unfortunately, Judgment is pretty bad. Um, worst Shikai there is, honestly, D tier. I don't know why it's so rare. Uh, the T move just gives a bit of attack potential, and then the G kind of like makes your attack with little hammers but honestly don't get it it's not worth it i would i would go for creation and confusion honestly next we got the theater bankai this is a legendary but unfortunately it is not that good you know it is pretty easily escapable and it has no good passives honestly so the moves stay the same as bankai which is disappointing and the t is pretty good because it follows you and does like these little um like hits it's like you know like a type of a continuous stun hit but that's only if you're near your opponent, as it does follow you. And G is like some sort of a uh, slash. So I would not go for it, but the choice is yours. Next up, we got Suzume Bachi. So this has no passives. It is legendary. Um, the T move does a lot of damage. The G move is also pretty damn good. But a lot of the moves are kind of like short-ranged and stuff. So 
Yeah, but the Bankai does do a lot of damage. The team move does like over two bars or something. I definitely recommend getting it. It is good. I mostly see people with Hakuda using it, but you can use it with any build. It is pretty damn good. Next up, we got the Water Bankai. So I gotta say, Water is a bit underrated or something, but it is really good. Uh, every move that you land does proc a Whirlpool. And the T move is really good. It makes you invincible for a bit and move a bit faster. Until you press it again, it does that sort of slash, which, you know, ends the T move early. And then the G is like this Demon Slayer looking move, but it does good damage and it has good AoE. Honestly, and it does also make the wave bigger, so I would honestly recommend getting water if you if you want a good common uh, Bankai. Next up, we have the Shadow Bankai. So Shadow doesn't have any passive, and people have told me it's trash. And honestly, even the Shikai is good. I don't know what people are talking about, but the Bankai is just better. So you also have a claw move, which is your T, which if you land it, does good damage, you know, pretty good range. Well, not range, but AoE-ish. And it also has a domain that if you land, you get you basically teleport to this area well i don't know if it's teleport but you're in this strange area of your opponent and you can basically you're basically immortal they can't damage you at all in the domain so you can damage them as much as you can so if you've got like a cracked build of shadow it might just be broken honestly next up we have fire one of the bankers that have like the best passives in the game so when you dash with fire it does it procs a little flame aoe um damage thing which is pretty op i mean you're just dashing and you're already doing damage so um the m1s do also proc flames which is kind of cool honestly and you also if your opponent burns to death with the fire bankai they do become puppets for you as i've heard so i've not tested it but it also has a really good t and g move which i definitely recommend getting the bankai to try it out because it has good ragdolling good damage good burn it is goated next up we have the wind bankai so if I gotta be honest, pretty uh, bland Bankai, but it does have good move combinations. Like the moves can be comboed together, like I think G and C. Kind of creates a hollow purplish effect. But honestly, there's not much to it. You know, it's pretty mid. Um, it does depend on the good build, especially like it does really well with keto builds. Um, so yeah, I'd have to like leave it at a B tier. Next up, you have the Zangetsu Bankai. So this doesn't have any like, you know, special or any crazy passives, but... Though the moves to have good AoE, the Bankai moves are solid. The damage isn't crazy enough for it to be like a good A tier, not not even S. But it is good. The you know the colors change to red. It looks pretty cool. If you want to be Ichigo, definitely get it. But it's good either way, so it's not bad at all. Also, I kind of changed them around a bit because I was kind of like changing my mind because I just feel like a stun M1 proc is better than the water, but that's just me. But anyways, now we got poison. So poison is kind of damage carried by the poison effect. It doesn't have any passives. It's not crazy good. If used right, it's good. You know, type of stuff. And yeah, it's just kind of mid though. The moves aren't that cool. Now for the mythics. First off, we have Benahime. So honestly, Benahime is definitely not S, even though it's a mythical. They kind of did not cook too much on it, but because it, it does still drain. A lot of Riatsu since the moves, you know, people spam range a lot with it. Um, the Bankai is nothing too special. Uh, one of the moves kind of just put you in the air and do some sort of damage. I don't really know how it works, but the M1s are kind of like blood, but except you don't lose health or gain it, it's just kind of like a good ranged M1. And one of the moves do also heal you um, around 20% of your, like, if you're low, it gives you 20% of your health back. I honestly don't know where to really put this one, but. I think it's definitely around A tier though. Next up we have the Kyokasu Getsu. So this is a very, very solid uh, Bankai. It's a mythical. It's worthy of being a mythical. Does good damage. Has really good moves. And one of the moves summons, you know, the Hado Kuro Hitsuji uh, move. And it has good damage. Um, obviously, the range is alright. You know, you just gotta land it. I mean, the range is pretty good, I guess, AoE wise. And he also has a move where... If your opponent, if you're lower than your opponent, and they've got like, say, they're five bars, and you let them like get you really low, you can then swap health with them, and they become a bar, which I think is absolutely diabolical. Definitely crazy strategic, um, you know, uh, gameplay. Definitely all according to the plan, um, type shit. But yeah, definitely S tier. And finally, we have the duality Bankai. So this is also mythical. It is also. Probably the best one, you know, you can either defer between Kiyoki and that being the best. But the reason I'm going to put it at the highest is because 
the combat moves on it is easy to land does really good damage you know it's got like crazy moves that do it's pretty easy it has like really good uh combo potential and i'm only putting it above kyoka because although it's not as you know as strategic and, and that because obviously you can miss your moves and your your strategy will just fail it is just purely really good for combat i definitely recommend if you get it to get the bankai it is hard to fight but it is worth it so yeah that's probably concludes the tier list a lot of them might be a bit variable around a i would say you know people put confusion at a but i would just leave it like high b ish because it's just too much on a anyways and yeah this i don't know if this was too biased i think this was decently fair you guys can let me know in the comments what you would put in your tier list and yeah i hopefully this was entertaining hopefully y'all you know agree with most of my choices because I, I think it was pretty fair honestly Maybe I would put um, Keith the Case Benny Hime after Berserk and some because it's not like crazy good, you know. I think I think honestly think Berserk Bankai is better. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, you know, like and sub, and join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys next time.